Hey, so I'm back with a bonus video number two. In this video, I want to look at smooth scrolling. Now, on our current one, we're using the native kind of CSS smooth scrolling here. And not all browsers uh, support this. Uh, for example, on Safari, here, I have Safari open here. If I click down here, it's not going to smooth scroll all the way to the top. What's going to do is it's just going to pop up to the top like you would expect it to do without smooth scrolling. Now, since it's not supported, we got to go and create our own kind of animation easing uh, that goes up, that smooth scrolls up. Uh, now, this can be done in jQuery. I think you can do it with uh, animation, jQuery animation. And I think that's usually what most people are doing. But I'm going to do it with uh, vanilla JavaScript here. Now, let me close this up. So let's take a look here. Now, what I'm going to do for the sake of this tutorial is I could probably just use only the this new smooth scrolling that we're building for all browsers. But I'm going to keep this and only apply this version to the unsupported side, just so we can keep the old one. I'd probably just use the smooth scrolling for all of them, uh, uh, typically. But for this uh, tutorial, I'll, I'll leave the old one intact. OK, so what we're going to do here is we're going to create const HTML L equals document dot query. Oops, not query. And we're going to get the HTML. And what we're going to do here is on HTML, yeah. I'm going to do style. And we could probably have done this in the CSS, but I just want to do everything in, um, in uh, JavaScript here. And we're going to get smooth. So what we did here is we're grabbing the HTML element here and applying the smooth for the behavior. And we're going to use that to test our, well, where's our button here? Yeah, so we're going to use that to test here on our click if it's supported, if. Get computed style on the HTML element. And we're going to get scroll behavior. We're going to do equals, triple equals, smooth, and we'll do this. And we'll save that. Now let's do a console.log and we'll use this one as supported. And we'll save just so we can see it. Unsupported. Okay, so we're gonna click here. I think it's gonna run just normally on here. Okay, so we're just gonna focus on getting our So if I go here, inspect, if I go to the bottom, now if I click here, nothing's going to happen. And if I go here, it's going to say unsupported, so 7. So now it's going to be using this part. OK. So we got that set up. Now the next thing I want to do is I got some easing functions here. So I want to use one of these. And I'll post this in the description of the video. Now what I want to do is create an easing. I'm going to go here and do const easing. Cool. And put in a time. And what I want to do here is I want to grab this one like the, the out. And you can use any of these. I'm just specifically using this one. 
and we'll do a return. Okay, so this will be our easing for our animation that when it scrolls up, it'll be nice and smooth. Um, now, next thing, we're gonna do another const smooth. We're gonna create a function called smooth scroll. And we want a target and a duration. Okay, so in here we're going to call this function. And our target will be HTML because that's going to go up to the top. And we will have a duration. Oops, no, we need. So this will be a thousand milliseconds, so it equals out to one second. Okay, just so we can see console.log that things are happening. And here, hold on, let me get a get Safari over here. Okay, so I'm back. I put Safari over here just so we can see it. Now, where were we here? So here, let's save that. And if I click here, so we have our HTML element in our target or our duration for 1000 here that's showing. Okay, so now we're Okay, so let's we're going to create a couple of variables here. So we're going to do const ss target equal to document dot query. Excellent here. And we're going to grab this target. So now we have this, now we have access to that DOM element. We want const ss start and equals, and we want window dot page y offset. So this will give us the distance between where we are here to the top of the window. Okay, so now we need a const ss target top and that will be equal to this. And this one's a this one's a doozy. It's get bounding client rect. Okay, so let's log this just so we can see it. And as we're doing that, okay, so we get this const uh, the DOM rectangle here. Let's expand it. And what we want is this top section here. So if I go and do that, and it gives us the basically the dimensions and the coordinates of that element. And since it's HTML, it's basically the top of the this page anyways. And bottom, height, left, right, top, width, all that kind of stuff. But we only want the we only want this top um, property here. So if we do that, we do it again. And now we have this uh, 1600. And if I move up here, it's a little bit different. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, and we need one more property here, and we're going to do let, and we'll do start time. And start time will equal zero. All right, so now I want to create another const, and this will be our animation. And here is a uh, I'm just going to call it now, just so it make, it's more clear. But this is a time uh, stamp variable. Okay, and we're going to do a request dot time frame. Let's call it smooth scroll. And, 
and I'm going to poke that in here. Okay. So what we want to do here is we want to set this start time once. So we're going to do this if start time is equal to zero. We don't need that. Not negative zero. Then we'll set start time to now. Okay, so we save that. Now, so this is going to set once. We're going to keep looping through this. Uh, now, what we want is we want an elapsed time. So let lapse. So we want to know is how much time has passed since we our start time. So we're going to do equals now, which is this when it comes through, minus our start time that is here. That is now set here once. Okay, so we have our start, uh, our elapsed time. Give it some room. Okay, so we're going to set our easing, or let's call it ease. And we're going to call our easing function up here, easing. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do elapsed time. Divided by our duration. And what I want to also do here is because since we're going to be looping through here, this is going to go um, above one at some point. So we need to do math dot min and whichever one is the smallest of these two will be the value. So when this goes up, uh, if this hits higher than one, then it will be set to one. Okay. Now what we need to do is we need to animate the window. So window Oops. scroll and you can do scroll and I think scroll two as well but right, let's just do scroll zero we're gonna do ss start plus ss target top which is this one and then we'll do times our easing. So this is our horizontal or the X one, and this is our um, this is our Y. Okay, so that's good. And if our elapsed time is less than duration because we set our duration up uh, where is it here for one second so what it's going to do is going to from now to our start time as long as this is less than a second then this will run and we're going to do this again just to loop it back through so it's going to run through here our smooth scroll. It's going to run this and it's going to run this block of code. And when it gets to here, if the elapsed time is less than the duration, it's going to go and run this again and run this through again. And on our second time through, our start time shouldn't change because it was set to zero here. Okay. And it should be already set as it goes loops through here. So let's save that, and hopefully, we click here, it now scrolls up. Beautiful. Hopefully you guys learned something new with this, and if you want to implement it, you guys can go right ahead. I'll be posting it up 
as a, a new branch on my GitHub as well. All right, so hopefully I'll talk to you guys in a new video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.